The first mental tool we're going to talk about is mental imagery. Now, first question is, what is mental imagery? Well, it involves seeing and feeling yourself skiing the way you want, technically and tactically well, skiing really fast. Now, a lot of people use the term visualization instead of mental imagery. And if you want to use that term, that's fine. But I prefer imagery because visualization places too much emphasis on the visual aspects, the seeing part of imagery. And for me, the real power of imagery is in the feeling it. So that's really what I want you to keep in mind, this idea that you want to see it in your mind's eye, but also feel it. Another key part of imagery is your goal is to reproduce the actual ski racing experience. So whatever you experience when you're actually out there skiing, thoughts, emotions, physical sensations, you want to reproduce in your imagery. Because imagery, you think of it initially and you think, well, it's just picturing stuff in your mind. But it's actually much more than that. Imagery acts as a bridge between the mind and the body. So when you do imagery, you're actually triggering a lot of the muscles, a lot of the motor programs that you actually experience when you're skiing. In fact, a number of years ago, the U.S. ski team did a study where, uh, with U.S. ski team downhillers at the Hanenkamm in Kitzbühel. What they did, they put muscle sensors on the racer's thighs, and then they had them imagine themselves running the Hanenkamm. And what happened? Well, for example, when there's a hard right footer, the muscles in their right quad tensed up. When they hit a jump and landed, the muscles in both their quads tensed up. So what happens is with imagery, you're in a sense fooling your body and your mind into thinking you're actually ski racing. Mental imagery for me is the most powerful mental tool there is. If you get anything out of this six-week course, it is that imagery can have such a big impact in so many different ways. So much so that I call it the Swiss Army Knife of mental training because it can help you improve so many different areas of your skiing. Mentally, it can increase your confidence. It can build, excuse me, it can increase your motivation. It can build your confidence. It can reduce or adjust your intensity to a good level. It helps you focus better. It helps you deal with your emotions. Technically, research has shown that you can actually improve your technical and tactical skills without actually skiing. So it can improve your stance, your separation, uh, going deep at the top of the turn, your transition, whatever you're working on technically and tactically. But going back to that initial idea that I shared with you at the, in the very first class, that you want to approach mental training the same way you do your conditioning and your on-snow training. The same applies for imagery. Imagery is a tool, yes, but you will only learn how to use it if you use it on a regular basis. First, it enables you to become really skilled at it, and with those skills, you can then gain the most benefits. Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Taylor, and thanks for watching my Prime Ski Racing blog segment. To learn more about my Prime Ski Racing online courses, please click on the image of the racer in the lower right of your screen. To watch other Prime Ski Racing segments, please click on the window in the upper right of your screen. Until next time, when you race, have fun and leave it all out there.